Hi, what's up everybody? This is gonna be a Saki tutorial slash combo video. Um, I'm gonna go over some basic combos with Saki. I'm gonna go over um, EF using extend force and meter gain. And then I'm gonna do some other combos from different situations like throws and air hits. I'm gonna talk about how hit stun reduction works in Arcana Heart. And finally, I'm gonna close it out with some cool, higher, you know, more difficult Saki combos. This video is intended for people who are either new to Saki or just new to Arcana Heart in general. So let's start out. Um, by the way, Fiona is the training dummy because a lot of these combos, if you can, if you do them and they work on Fiona, they'll work on any other cast member. And also, I'm going to do the combo notations. I'm going to put them in the YouTube video description. All right, let's get started. So you're a beginner, you know, you're doing whatever. You're probably holding down or down back as you're doing your combo. So here's a really easy combo. You just do two A, two B, two C, and hopefully they don't block it. So you can do your combo. You flash kick, C flash kick, get two hits, and then super, which is this quarter circle back A plus B. Get you C, flash kick, two hits, super. And you get 6.2k. Um, some problems with this combo though, why you don't want to do this, is that on block, 2C is actually minus 6, so they can punish it. Uh, and flash kick, of course, is minus a million, so they can punish that. Um, it forces you to use a homing cancel like this, or like this, press the D button. And I mean, it's a pressure reset, which is nice, but you'd rather not have to spend a bar to get the pressure reset. So here's another combo that does basically the same damage, same kind of starter, except instead of holding down, you're holding down back. You do 2A, 2B, 2C, reenact, and super. Uh, I accidentally did the ground one, but that's fine. Or, you know, so here's the air one. Reenact, whoops. You gotta do the reenact right away, though. B, reenact, and then super. Uh, the nice thing about this is that on block, Brianac, B version is plus two, and the A version is plus one. So it acts as a pressure reset. You can kind of just do this. Oops. Yeah, and um, they have to use like extend force or guard cancel to actually get out of that pressure reset or a reversal or spot dodge. You know, there's actually a lot of different options that they have, but that's a basic pressure reset slash combo all in one. So now let's say you want to do something a bit more advanced, and maybe use a homing cancel, which you've probably heard of. Uh, a really, or it, this is also useful, like if you don't have the charge to do Brianac, like you're not holding back, then uh, you can do A, B, C, and then do forward six homing, and then you know you do five A, six C in a simple air combo. Uh, just like that. Boop. Uh, it does a little bit more damage. Um, the problem with that combo though is that you get almost no meter gain. Like if you look at my meter gain, it was like nothing. Or at least this combo, you know, it builds slightly more meter. But let's let's talk about Saki getting into Saki's more advanced combos. 99% of them use Gorm Glass, which is the forward back charge, this move. So you want to combo into that pretty much always. And then you can often do a meterless combo with jump A, like that, and see how that built more meter. Uh, let's start talking about, you know, how meter building works in this game. Basically, as long as your meter is full, hitting them or if they block, or if you block, or if you take damage, all of that build, builds your max meter, which is important. Uh, you want to try to get to two max meter, you know, pretty much as quickly as possible, because that lets you do all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, now, in order to get to that, though, you need to use combos that are meterless, like this one, just link your jump A, whatever, or use extend force. Uh, so, for instance, if your combo starts with jump B, and then you do 2A, 6B, 2C, like this, can't link jump A. Or if your combo starts with 2A, 5B, 2B, 2C, can't link jump A. So, in those situations, you could use a homing cancel, like, okay, whoops. You can do the homing cancel here, but that's not really ideal. You'd rather do the homing cancel after Gorm Glass. And you can hold up after the homing cancel and get like a combo like that. Did pretty good damage, 10.4k. Uh, most of that damage increases from the starter, because jump B is a much better starter than 2A. But, um, so you can use the homing cancel, or you can use extend force, and link extend force, jump A. Like that. And you see how I built a lot more meter that way. And it's really important because the next combo after that is going to build meter too. So, you know, if I do this again, do homing cancel, and I'm gonna hit them again. See, I still there. I'm gonna build more meter now. So, whoops, wrong, wrong frag rack. So you know, I got like 40% meter there. 
If I do extend force console instead, and I do whatever. Same combo. I'm actually still in extend force, which is crazy. See, I didn't even finish the combo because I messed up. And it already, like, look how much more meter I built. So that's why you want to use extend force whenever possible and not homing cancel or super. Extend force uses the meter that's below your character portrait in the top. And if you burst, you can't use extend force for a while, which is, you know, it's pretty bad because then combos will start like this. Now I have to use meter or I can't do the combo. So that, that really sucks. So yeah, try and, try and save your burst until you have, you know, maybe like round two or three if you're about to lose or... It's... Consider saving it. It's usually a good idea in this game. Um, let's see. Okay, so... Okay, let's talk about your punish combo. Now, I already told you that jump B is a good starter. You get like that. Uh, her best starters are... Jump B is pretty good. It prorates to 87%. The best ones are 2B, which is 91%, and 6B, which is also 91%, but you do 300 more damage. So, if they do something that you can punish, like a Dragon Punch or a Flash Kick, 6B, and you can actually just do your basic combo like that. And then Super, and that's 12.3k. For a really, like, your simplest, most basic B&B, &B, 12.3k. Um, if... If you're having trouble doing 6B straight into Gorm Glass, you can also just do 2B, 2C, which is going to give you less damage, but, you know, it's more consistent. It's easier to land. So 11.7 instead of 12.3. Pretty good. There's your basic punishes with 2B and 6B. And I'll show you some better punish combos later on, but as you can see, even with the most basic combo, you're still doing a good, like, this is going to do... 12.5, I believe. Even before the meter, it did 10.3k. So, pretty good, pretty good. Um, again, you probably don't want to use the super ender if you only have one bar, because then you can't build more meter from the rest from your next combo. So, you know, it's something to weigh there. Uh, let's see, so, there's your punish combo. Neutral throw. Neutral throw, you can't combo out of it without resources. You can forward homing cancel and do Gorm Glass. And then you can link jump A afterwards. Let me make that a bit more visible. Like that. So you can see the homing cancel. You can also do EF cancel where you just hold forwards and then stand force after it's done. Like that. Uh, let's see. From a random air hit. Let's see they're jumping. Uh, sometimes the best you can get is just that. A, double jump A. Uh, Fragorak, super. Ideally, you want to hit the jump C, but C sometimes they're too high to do it. But you want to jump C into like B Fragorak and the super. It's important though if you do the A to A Fragorak, it's A Fragorak, because B Fragorak and C Fragorak are too slow. So, a uh, more general combo in the air might be, you know, A, B, 4, B, double jump, A, B, C. I mean, it all depends on like the angle that you hit them on. But usually something like that, like jump A, 4, B, B, C will work. Except Fiona has... So the reason I picked Fiona is that her hurt box at the bottom is unusually high. So combos like that will drop on her. That will work on other characters. And it's good to get used to that. Just so that if you fight Fiona or other characters with that kind of hurt box, you're not surprised when your combos drop. Um, by the way, uh, you might see... You, know, you might think, well, what if I use a homing cancel like that? You know, how much damage do I get? Not a lot. 5.5k compared to, you know, like this. That's all. See, that already did like the same. Or I guess to be more even. So that did 6.4 using homing cancel. Or if I just super, it does 7.7. .7. So, unless you're using the wind arcana, maybe, uh, you usually you'll get more damage by ending your air combo in super than using a homing cancel. So. You shouldn't really do that, unless you need it to hit confirm. Okay, let's see. Air Breen Act's another thing that will come in handy. Like, if they're... Stop jumping for a sec. They come in at you, like, um... Let's do, like, that. Oh, wow. So Air Breen Act is pretty good air-to-air. -air. Um... There we go. If it hits... Wow! That actually... B-Fragrack actually missed there, so... 
Yeah. So there's your combo from doing an air Breonat. If it, oh, on counter hit, you know, it's more damage. If it clashes, then I guess you can super. I actually want to clash now. There we go. You can super. But that's something you can really only do offline, because online there's going to be too much lag. Oh, wow. So yeah, there's a combo from Air Brianak. And, okay. If they're jumping... Small guard. So, your air unblockable moves are like A flash kick. A flash kick is air unblockable. It won't clash. But it's not invincible. Only B and C are invincible. But of course they can be blocked. So A flash kick is invincible. Sometimes you can link jump A if they're close enough. But it's a bit tricky. You have to be pretty low for that to work. Let me try one more time. There you go. So anyway, other air unblockable moves. 6C is air unblockable. And everybody's 5E and 2E are air unblockable. So 6C, usually though when you like, it, let's say you do an air string on them and they're blocking. Whoops. You don't usually go straight into 6C because like, look. <laughs> so they actually landed and then got super jump and got hit on the ground in jump startup. But so normally you don't want to do just 6C like that. You want to do 5A, 6C like that. A little bit of extra damage there with the instant air dash JC. So... Like if they're doing, you know, you get the air combo, 5A, 6C. Um, or you could do 5A, 2E, which... Whoops. Oh. Oh. So sometimes that's not going to work. Oh, wow, that didn't work. So yeah. But, but problem, the thing about 2E, you can get more damage from it if you have Extend Force, but if you don't have Extend Force, you gotta use Meter to get the combo. And it's, it even do more damage. No, it's like the same damage, but it costs a meter. But if you have Extend Force, you do the cool Extend Force combo, whoops. C, A, double jump, A, C, C, um, Day Assail. It's actually not that hard. In fact, you can just mash C there. Wow. Yeah, as an example like that. So, yeah. Uh, let's see, what else can you combo from? Orna. Orna is your up charge up down move on the ground. It's an overhead. Let's have them knock guard. You can like cross up with it and stuff. So the easiest combo to do for Orna is you do jump B on the way down. Which is good because it'll hit behind you like that. Oh, wait. Oh, why does she keep popping in front of me? <laughs> well, oh, come on, Fiona, get behind me. I got, I'm trying to show the people something. Okay, well, Fiona... <laughs> really? Wow. Well, Fiona just... <laughs> well, that move does hit behind you a little bit more than the rest of your moves. So if you do cross someone up and they end up behind you, like Fiona's supposed to be, um, it'll be more consistent. You can actually hit them backwards behind you. Uh, there are better combos you can do from Orna. You can, there's a double Orna combo, for instance. Oops. This is kind of tough, though. Yeah. You can do Orna from that, and so on and so forth. You can EF cancel Orna as well. You can do other stuff, like... Wow. And you know, do whatever. Or you can actually do e Orna twice, by the way, with EF cancel. So Orna, by the way, most of your moves, you actually have to hit straight down, which I think is, there we go. There we go, the double overhead. Usually for every move except for flash kick, you actually have to hit the straight, the cardinal direction, like straight down, straight left, straight right. Uh, flash kick, you can do like up back and it'll still work. But things like Orna, you have to do straight down. So let's see. Alright, let's talk about hit stun reduction now. Uh, so I showed you the Gorm Glass combos. Like this. Uh, and you know, sometimes you can link jump A, sometimes you can't. The reason, so the way it works is. Every move in this game has a value, a hit stun reduction value, 
A moves like, well Saki's A moves, 5A, 2A, jump A, all have a reduction of 2. Her ground 5B, 2B, and 6B are all 4. Jump B and the air dive kick jump 3C are all 6. And the C moves like this, this, this. Uh, e moves like that, like that. And specials like Bree and Act are all 8. And what you want to do is you want to add up the numbers from all the moves that you do before Orna. If they add up to 16 or less, you can do a meterless jump A after that. So, for example, this combo 2A, 2A, 2B, 2C is 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8. 2, 2, 4, 8. And that adds up to 16, which means I can do A and link it, meterless. If I do 2A, or 5B, 5, blah, 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 blah. 5B, 2B, 2C, like that. Oh, all right. There's an example of a combo dropping off Fiona that would work on most other characters. That's why you train against this character, so that you don't do that combo string. Uh, uh, there we go. So anyway, that's 5B, 2B, 2C is 4 plus 4 plus 8 is 16. I can do jump A. Uh, <laughs> combo dropped again. There you go. Um, but 2A, 5B, 2B, 2C is 2, 4, 4, 8 adds up to 18, and I can't do the mutilist combo. Uh, jump B, 2A, 6B is 6 plus 2 plus 4, which is 12. Jump B, 2A, 6B, 2C, that didn't combo. That's 6 plus, 6 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8. I believe that is 12 plus 8 is 20, which is way too much. That's way too high. I can't link jump A after that. So yeah, so whenever you do, like, if you do whatever weird combo starter like that, you gotta think during this move, Warm Glass, okay, add up the numbers, is it 16 or less, and that'll tell you if you need to use meter to actually continue the combo. So what if it is like 18 or 20 or 22, like, from this? Well, then you use EF cancel jump A. Let's do a cooler combo this time. Uh, this will work up to a hit stun reduction of 22, and 22 is like 8, 2, 2, is this gonna work? I think so. 8 plus 2, okay, 8, 10, 8, 10, 12. Uh, okay, jump C and to 16, 20, 24. Actually, that won't work, no. It has to be this. That'll work, there we go. There we go. So jump C is 8, 2A is 10. 6B is 14, and then 2C is 22. So that's that's the limit for doing the EF cancel. So yeah, if your combo starter is this for some reason, you can't use extend force, you have to use home and cancel to do the combo. So another example is like this. Gotta use home and cancel, can't use extend force. Because that's way too much. So that's 6 plus 8 is 14, plus 2 is 16, plus 4 is 20, plus 8 is 28. Admittedly, I don't do all that math. I usually remember like, this is 16, so if I do any more than that, it's too much. Or this is 16. And then anything, no, that's, what is that? That's 22. So anything more than that is going to be, EF won't work. Whoops. Another example is like, um, if you start with 16, you can do an EF cancel jump C link, like that. And, oh wow, that doesn't work on Fiona. Huh. Oh, there we go. Right. So yeah, that also a little bit for EF cancel jump C is also 16, which is convenient. So that's how hit stun reduction works in this game. Uh, okay. All right, so let's do some cool combos. I think I'm going over all the basics. It's been a while. How long has the video been going so far? 20 minutes, that's longer than I hoped for. All right, let's just do some real cool combos real quick. So I showed you the punish starter, 6B. Just a simple combo is 12.3k damage. If you can do cooler combos like... You don't really need to learn this combo, but this will do... It looks cool, 14k basically. A uh, better combo is to use Gay Assail twice. Oh, this is tricky on Fiona though. Oh, huh, maybe I need a better, a different training dummy. Huh. Alright, don't do that combo on Fiona. <laughs> but like, here's another cool combo that you don't really need to learn. Let's 
Ah, it's like the same damage as the jump B, jump B, jump 3B. Alright, let's do this combo on someone else that it actually works on easily. I think Fiona is one of the only characters where that combo is difficult. The good colors. Uh, these combos might actually do slightly less damage because Saki's guts will kick in at 50 or 40% HP. I can't forget what. So, like, let's find out. So let's do this combo again. Whoops. There's a delay there between the two jump Bs for a reason. Okay, that did 14k basically. Uh, let's do the double gay assail combo. Mm, 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 mm. That ender only works in the combo in the corner, by the way. So 200 more damage, 14.2. Um, let's see. Oh, nice thing. Uh, so if you start the combo from jump B, you can still do that combo, which is nice. Do you, do you, do you see how much damage that does? This is from a jump B starter, which means you can do a cross up. And 13.7, which is pretty good. And cross up. That didn't combo. There we go. I can do... So you can get a little bit more damage using the double gay assail combo. Uh, the thing is, this combo is only easy if your combo does not do 2C, like that. So if your combo has 2C in it, like that, uh, this becomes, yeah, that becomes a lot harder, if not impossible on some characters. So you're kind of motivated to do combos like that, or like that, but don't use 2C, just so you can do this awesome combo. Um, again, I'm going to put the notation in the YouTube video, and I also have a Google Doc with this combo in it. But, you know, for your information, it's jump B and then B gay assail, A C, A gay assail, and that's 5B, 6B, 6C. But the ender is character specific, and the ender depends on whether you're in the corner or the not. Like, if I cross them up, probably, um, actually let's do something cool. There we go. Oh wait, that's not gonna work because I used EF cancel. There so uh, like now the ender has got to be like I don't know that. <laughs> Just as an example, because the two or actually it's a better example. There we go. <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna do. Mid screen. So this combo is like not as useful mid screen. That worked? There we go. AC. A6C works. And it does a little bit less damage, but at least it works. Mid-screen. I think that will I think that ender will work on most characters, mid-screen and corner. But, yeah. That one, that's a combo you kind of have to just, like, learn and practice. Whereas, I'm kind of partial to this combo myself. Whoops. By the way, to do this cross-up, you just hold forward in the air as you're doing your homing. Yeah, I'm a little bit partial to this combo myself. Oh, it's like similar damage and it works mid-screen and corner. Actually, wait. If you do the combo in the corner, what happens? Oh. So this might actually push me out too far. Find out. Uh, the super won't connect, right? Yeah. So you have to, you can't end it with a super in the corner if you started in the corner. That's the downside of that combo. Whereas, obviously, now I can do the double gay assail combo. First try. Alright, so let me show one more advanced combo. This is hard knockdown combos. Um, these are character specific and I have a whole spreadsheet on them. On what works on who. See, this is good because it forces them to block the uh, the love ball Loki. Um, they can flash kick it. But if you think you're gonna flash kick, oh wow! Huh? That's weird. Oh, I can't do it because I have uh, no homing meter left. Well, a lot of characters are forced to block the love ball in this situation. Vice in particular has to block it. Oh, wow, that actually worked. 
Wait, did I get my homing meter back in time to- Wait, what happened? I'm gonna watch the homing meter this time. There we go. I have to neutral tech. If I neutral tech, I can flash kick out of that. But there's lots of other setups you can do with the hard knockdown. The thing is, in this game, uh, like if you don't get a hard knockdown, there you have a lot of variants in how they can tech. And a hard knockdown kind of limits that. Whoops. So I'm doing another jump here. Whoops. Oi! I think this doesn't work on Saki unless she's in the corner. Yeah. So like if I try to flash kick out of that, I think it will not work. Find out. But it depends if I neutral tech or back tech. Yep, there we go. That's neutral tech flash kick and it didn't work. But if I back tech flash kick, I think I can get out of it. This is just some examples of what you can do after a hard knockdown. Oh, that's not good. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, that's good for the Saki that did the setup. There we go. I can delay it. So, yeah. It's kind of cool thing about this game that it's hard to guarantee Oki. But the hard knockdown combos give you, you know, better better odds to actually force them to block. Uh, if you want it, water, I think is a better arcana if you want to do hard knockdown combos. Combo like water bubble. But all right, um, I think that's enough of the cool combos. So yeah. Oops. <laughs> well, there goes my cool stuff. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you got any questions, ask on the Arcana Heart Discord. I'm going to put a link in the YouTube video description for that. And yeah, thanks for watching the, the whole like 30 minutes. <laughs> Have a good one.